Hello, today I would like to talk about American artist uh, Robert Irwin and more specifically about one chapter in this book about him, uh, Seeing is Forgetting the Name of the Thing One Sees by Lawrence Wachtler. And uh, there's this one chapter that he describes uh, the years between 1962 and 1964. And that's also when uh, Irwin goes to Ibiza in Spain for a self-imposed isolation. And uh, that's the time when he basically meditates on his work. So he describes it at, as being a moment when he would sit down and look at, at his work and, and think to himself, why do I like something versus another? And, um, and he says that that's the time also where he uh, feels like he's assessing his own sensibility and learning about the strength of focusing on one thing for a long period of time. So it's interesting because uh, at this time he, he was working on uh, line paintings and this is the beginning of him getting into a more uh, perception oriented kind of work that he will become known for. So this is 1962 to 64. In, in 1970, he gives up on having a studio completely. So for you to have an idea. So he, he talks about this period as a moment when his intuition replaces logic. And I love that idea. So um, the work that we think more nowadays when we think of Irwin is, for instance, the garden and the pathways and the, and the windows at Dia Beacon. And uh, the way he worked uh, on this was that he moved for one year uh, to the town across the, the river from uh, Beacon, where Dia Beacon is. And he basically meditated on the space and would walk thousands of times in the museum uh, before he decided what to do. So I like to finish by reading the last two lines of a poem by Vislava Zimborska. Uh, she's talking about an acrobat in this poem. And she says, beautiful beyond belief at this passing at this very passing moment that's just passed. Thank you for watching.